So now, uh, now comes the time to animate in Blender. Okay, this is essentially what our uh, frame is going to be. And now we need a timeline. So right here, if you've ever been wondering what this is in Blender, why this is here, well, today's the day you learn that. Just click right here and drag it up. Okay, and here's our timeline. So this is what we're going to be adding keyframes to. New word, don't be afraid, don't be alarmed. You're going to do great. Okay, I'm going to shift, middle click just to bring my view here. So this is what we're looking at, this is what we're going to see, and this is our timeline. This is what, uh, this is essentially like the drawing board where our, our animation is going to live. Okay, so we're going to figure out how long we want our animation to be. Okay, you can go 200 frames here, right? And if you got, say you're doing 20 frames a second, then it's a 10 second animation. If you're doing 24 frames a second, then you got a 200 frame animation, it'd be about eight seconds. Um, I'll do, I'll do 240 actually. So create a 10 second animation um, at 24 frames a second, and we can create that Here, right here. So you can see end frame at 240, and our frame rate is 24 frames per second. And we see that in the output property. So in our properties panel, click on output and see your frame rate. Um, so we're going to run with 24 frames per second, and we're going to end at 240 frames. 24 frames per second, 240 frames. This is a 10 second animation. Okay. So now, uh, now let's create our phases. Okay, let's create our moon phases. And to create some room for text, I'm gonna move our camera on the X axis a little bit, maybe. How far away do, do I wanna wait it to the left or wait on the right? Okay, I'm gonna wait it on the right over here, okay? So we'll, we'll put our text here, identifying the, the uh, identifying each phase as the light hits it. So now we need to uh, rotate our light. Uh, the sun is a little bit different. So I'm gonna hit uh, seven. Okay, and our sun, so I have our light here. This is light, I'm gonna rename the layer sun. Okay, so now we have a sun. You know what? Here. And we're gonna go into center of this, and we're gonna we're gonna get everything aligned properly. So let's put this on the center. Okay. So that is perfectly center lined. And then let's put the sun on zero, zero, zero also. So now the sun and the moon are in the same spot. So this is what we, this is what we, our camera sees. And then let's actually get rid of that view. Come here, go to numpad one. And let's put this in, uh, let's make this the camera view. So we'll hit control alt zero control alt zero should be working right now control alt zero alas it's not where's the camera camera's way over here okay i see exactly what it is um the really long focal length that we set earlier when we set our focal length to 500 that's uh that's messing us up here so let's get rid of that and bring the focal length down to something manageable like 50. Okay, and now let's reset and get everything aligned again. Transform, let's go zero and zero, okay? So this is a centered, so our camera is now centered on the X and the Z and it's back a little bit on the Y. Um, which I'm, I'm okay with that. And our sun, uh, similarly, 
is the same. And all I'm doing is moving my mouse around and it's moving the light around to the planet. Yeah, that, that's enough. So now I want to rotate this to my view of the moon. Okay. transform tab in the top right corner of your 3d viewport and go to rotation and just everything needs to be zero here okay zero 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 so now we start from we all start from the same spot okay it should be location zero 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 rotation zero 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 get here and you start where I start okay and save your work from this starting spot okay so moving the Z, so with X at 90, with Y at zero, and with Z just moving around to whatever you want. This is how we're going to make the faces of our moon, right? So in theory, this really should be able to be at zero and be completely bright, but uh, for full brightness, it's about five degrees off. So hopefully yours is not off at all and you can just see it at zero and have that be your full moon. Um, but for me, I cannot. And I don't want to start with a full moon. I want to start with a new moon, which is darkness, okay? Okay, and you can see that's... For me to get total darkness, I'm about a little over five degrees off. Maybe yours works at 180, maybe it doesn't. Um, you want this, to, you want your new moon to represent darkness. Find that wherever it is, and then right click on rotation and click on insert keyframe right here. And this should light up yellow, and there should be a little yellow dot right here. That is a keyframe. A keyframe is a place in time remembered by the system where things are on the stage. Okay, um, this is the the beginning of all animation. Our, our animation is 240 frames long, and we just added a keyframe to frame one. So now let's go halfway through our animation. This is five seconds in at the 120 frame mark and we want to oh, the other way this so this is uh, this is what our moons look like and bring it like that and this would be about I think I think about five off so we can call this negative five and there's our full moon okay so at the 120 mark you want to go 180 degrees off where you just were. I think if that, if that was 174, this should be six, negative six, okay? And there's your 180, and now we add another keyframe. So I'm gonna hit I as an insert keyframe menu. And the keyframe, we want, we want to hit a rotation keyframe, okay? Because all we did was add the rotation keyframe. And so now let's click this right here on the timeline. This jumps to the origin, jumps to the beginning. When you click play, you can see, there we go. Okay, there's half of our animation. And halfway through the cycle, we've hit a full moon. So we went from a new moon to a full moon. And now, you guessed it, we come to 240. And we want to whip this back around the other way. To about here and there is your darkness and so now once you've added the third and final uh, rotation same thing I answer keyframe rotation and that locks it in this this turning yellow is kind of blender's way of saying yep we under we understand what you want and we're doing that now we hit control s to save and now we should in theory be able to go Nicely done. Waxing. 
waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, waning crescent, new moon. Nicely done. Okay, everybody save your work. Uh, so in the next video, we will we'll add our titles for all of our phases, and then we will set up our output settings, and we will render out our animation. So get up, get a bend, get a stretch, get a glass of water, and we'll see you in the next one.